What is up, Omosh Nation? Man, <laughs> it feels good to say that again. Can you even believe it? It's been so long since I have been here. Wow. I've missed the Omosh Nation. I've missed content creation. I've missed YouTube. I've missed it all. And I'm excited to officially say that we are back. <laughs> Kind of. <laughs> what I should say is that the Omosh Middleman service is back open to everyone and anyone who wants to use the service to get their cards graded and I am pumped for it. I've missed helping the community grade their cards and I'm just so excited to be back and there have been a few little updates that hopefully you guys like. <laughs> now the reason why I said we're kind of back is because the Omosh YouTube page will not be posting normal TCG card openings anymore. I mean, maybe once in a blue moon, you never know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> but because the middleman service is back, we will be live streaming the returns to showcase and view your guys' cards and grades. And that is what we're going to be doing here now at the channel. Pretty much the same as what we were doing. I was just posting videos of your guys' returns, except now it's going to be live streamed pretty randomly. I don't think there's going to be a set time or anything. <laughs> And we're doing that for a few reasons. One, live streaming will be fun to be able to interact with whoever is online there. And two, the biggest reason, I really won't need to edit anything. <laughs> I still don't have a lot of time in my life and what I understand with live streams, I've never even done one, but you can just kind of end it and then post it and it's there for everyone to view whenever they can. <laughs> But like I said, I'm excited to be back, guys. Seriously, you are all awesome. Throughout these last two years, I can't believe it's been two years, I've had so many people reach out through DMs or comments on past videos just asking where I was, if I'm okay, and saying that I missed the content. And so seriously, you guys are awesome. Thanks for all the love and support. And hopefully we can come back strong and enjoy some good old graded cards. But I did say there are a few new things happening with the Omosh Middleman service. Everything is on my website, so let's just hop on over there so I can show you real quick everything you need to know about the Middleman service. All right, guys, here we are at Omosh.com. This is where you will do everything that has to do with the Middleman service. Let's head on over to the Middleman tab, and here you will see everything that you need to see. It breaks down how it all works and the pricing and everything. So let's just quickly run through it. Obviously, you guys can read, so we won't read every single word here. We'll just quickly go through it. But essentially, you just pick the cards that you want to get graded. You get them in a nice penny sleeve, card saver, or equivalent. It doesn't need to be the same size as a card saver one, or else it won't be accepted. And here's a quick list of the accepted TCGs. Pokemon, Dragon Ball, Digimon, Weiss, Schwartz, and One Piece. Can't wait to help with those. And then higher up on this screen, when you are logged in, you will see the new submission form. We'll go through that quickly but you fill that out, send it to this address right here, and then once I get those in hand, I do my thing, I label them, index them, get them ready for the submissions. I am still planning to send off on every 1st and 16th of each month. If there are enough cards to do so, we'll see. And then as soon as I send them off to the grading company, you will get a message from me telling you how much is owed, and that first amount covers the grading fee, my fee, and the shipping fees to the grading company and back from the grading company. And then after that, all we gotta do is patiently wait for them to do their thing, grade the cards, and once they are completed and returned back to me, that is when I will go live on YouTube to showcase them and you can check that out either live or later on whenever you want. And one of the new things that I did add is the ability to auction off your cards if you want to. I have added two companies, Probstein and ZNG Emporium. If you want to just get your cards sold and sent off and receive some money, you can do so through me. I will organize everything, send everything correctly, keep track of it all, and you will receive the payout from me 
obviously as soon as the auctions are over and I receive the funds from the auction companies. Cool little add-on, I think. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. Just helping people who sell cards a little more do everything in one spot. And obviously you will either auction them off and get money or you will get your cards back to your house and rinse, wash, repeat. You can do this as many times as you want. I am always available. <laughs> Just below here, you'll see the pricing for the grading companies that we do, PSA, Beckett, and CGC. These are their base prices. Obviously, if there are any specials going on at the time, we can do that. I'll just manually update the pricing, so you don't need to worry about that. Here's a little piece on the auctions, Probstein, ZNG Emporium. You can click these and it'll take you to their website so you can check them out and how their breakdowns and payouts work. These two companies are kind of the most used, I wanna say, in the Pokemon space. And they're also kind of just the easiest to work with. And so I thought I would add these two. We'll see if we add any more in the future. And then my fee has changed. If you remember, if you've used me in the past, you'll remember the tier structure. It was either four or $3 per card. If you sent more than 11, it was like $2. And then if you sent more than 25, it was $1. But no, now every single card you submit, no matter what, is $1 per card. The only thing that I guess could change that is if you send something that I don't normally grade, uh, maybe it'll be like $2 a card. <laughs> we'll see. Um, and if you do choose the auction route, I'll take 1% fee of the total that is returned to me from the auction company. And that is after they take their cut of the sale so you get a little more of the sale <laughs> and then same as always if you need card savers you don't have any 25 cents a card saver or if you need more than 10 it'll be 50 cents per card saver and then just a little cost estimator but let's jump up to the top check out the new submission uh it's pretty straightforward same but i'll run through it with you real quick psa we're gonna do some bulk service 30 cards and here's where do you want to auction your cards if you don't you just leave it unchecked and everything will be good but if you do then you pick which auction company you'd like i like zng emporium here's the note section if you have anything specific you want to tell me or if there are any like japanese or rare cards that i might not be able to read or know the name of this is where you submit that info you have the option to expedite if you would like. Instead of waiting for the 1st or 16th, I will send them off as soon as I get them and that adds a $25 fee to your sub. Do you need card savers? That does a little math. We can check that just for fun. Do you accept the terms and service and then submit? Or you can quickly just calculate two here and it'll break it down. Grading fee for 30 cards, $4.49, $30 fee, $15 card saver fee and yeah once you're ready all you got to do is submit and it will tell you what to do dusknor c4e4 you will print this out and send it with your cards this just has all of the info and helps me streamline everything as you can see psa bulk 30 needs card savers grading fee we want to auction them with zng emporium my fee here's the total and that is it. You'll also receive an email with the status of your submission. And as you can see here in your submissions, you'll be able to see here details and you will be notified and know the whole process of the grading service. Pretty nice and easy. And that is all guys. Pretty straightforward, nice and easy for you. So I'm excited to help you guys grade your collections, grade your cards, and now sell your cards. Let's make some profits on all of these sweet cards we're pulling and buying. <laughs> I'm pretty stoked. Again, thank you so much for all of the support. You're all awesome. I love the Omash Nation. I'm glad to be back. And I can't wait to see all of the sweet cards you're gonna submit. So let's just get the party started and I will catch you guys live next time.